Hi, welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul. I'm the Fruit Girl Mama. Um, today we're actually going to be combining two hauls into one because I, I have done so much shopping and um, I just haven't had the time. Things have been like really crazy over here. Like, but I don't do like a personal um, vlog, but maybe that's something you guys would want to see. I don't know. I talked about it over on my Facebook, but um, it's just been a crap show here lately. So today I have lots of goodies for you. So it's been a while. That's my point. But today I have lots of goodies for you. I have um, graduation, more graduation stuff, Mother's Day items, um, summer items, just so much fun. Lots of cool stuff. So stick around. Okay, so first up is graduation, and all along I've been thinking I've got a plan for my older daughter. She's graduating eighth grade. It's a big year. Kept thinking about graduation for her. It totally never occurred to me. My younger daughter is graduating this year, too. Fifth grade is also a graduation, <laughs> even though we're in COVID times. I still have to do something. I don't want it to be like just another year for them. They're both having graduating years, and then my oldest is receiving confirmation, so it's a big it's a big summer I guess um so I got these I don't even know if I'm gonna do a party but we could do these little photo props like if you're gonna do a photo booth these are really cute I just love them then I got this for whatever present I choose for my daughter because she's she's the one who my older daughter's the one who wanted to be a baker I don't know if she really wants to anymore, but that was always like her dream when she was younger. I think now she might want to be a writer, but this calls for sprinkles and it's like kind of like the graduation type colors. So I figured that'd be cute to give her her gift in. And then I got these yard stakes. I kind of always wondered where people got them from, but now I know Dollar Tree has them. You get four of them in each pack and they hold up regular, not helium, they hold up regular, you know, blown up balloons, latex balloons. I got two of these. Things are falling on me. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a Pam live or a video or a YouTube or whatever if things weren't falling on me. Even on my lives over on Facebook, things are always falling. <laughs> okay, then I grabbed <laughs> two packs of these, but one fell. <laughs> these are little graduation hat bubbles. Can you see them? Yeah, like I'm not on a live and I'm asking you if you could see them. And they're so cute. All right, let me go pick up what fell. <laughs> I have retrieved the other pack. And you get six in each, so I have 12. Then, these are not graduation specific, but they're just so cute. And I thought it was a good way to celebrate, like, moving on, a transition in life, you know, maturing. They can document these milestones in these notepads. So, um, notebooks. They're called notebooks. They're by Jot, and they almost feel like leather, but I would assume they're not for a dollar, but they really, they're like very well constructed, and they have lined paper inside. It's just blank lined paper. So I had the girls, I picked up three patterns that I thought were cute, and I just asked them, which one do you like, and I think, yeah, my older one chose this one, and my younger one chose this one. Like very, they're both like very boho inspired looking, especially with the rainbows in the recent in the past year with like um, COVID and stuff like that. I've been seeing a lot of people do macrame rainbows, and this is like kind of inspired by that. I think they're they're just so cute. They had really cute patterns. Oh, they also had like um, I think it was like a pastel polka dot one. So look for these in the like school supply slash office section. Although I'm not the most organized person in real life. <laughs> I like to buy organizational products. Although I will say this, my classrooms were always super organized. It's just at home, things get crazy. But then again, I've never lived in like a big house. I've always lived in a townhouse or a condo. So things have always been kind of like crammed in. Anyway, I saw these and I had to get them for when I do get my house, hopefully. It's a fridge. Um, it says fridge soda can storage, but I feel like you could use them for a ton of things in the fridge just to like line it, even like throw your cold cut packets in here so you could find them easier because I can never find those things. Why well, I have a small fridge, it doesn't have like the drawer for them, you know? So anyway, blush is my color. You guys know that. Look at this. So now I had gotten a ton of these in the same color 
but yeah, a little bit better quality, but like not much more. But I got them, I had gotten them at five below, and obviously they were five dollars each, and they had bigger ones. But this is pretty much the same color, and I can use them to complement the other ones. And then there were two larger size ones. They're kind of like um, almost like you could put them on a desk for like you know a paper tray kind of thing, like in and out box. Oh, they're just so cute. I like to use these like for my daughters too because if they need like to organize their, their they have little desks. If they need to organize their little desks like for you know school stuff and they can say like completed or needs to be done and things like that. But then I got this and one of my daughter's desks is marble. So look at how cute this is. It's a little desk organizer. Although to be honest her desk is probably not much bigger than this. I mean it's a little it's probably like double this size <laughs> like but um I just thought it was cute like it looks high-end it's really pretty in person and that's by Jot also as I go through Dollar Tree whenever I'm with my girls um things are always just thrown into my basket somehow they magically appear in there and mommy is always happy to oblige if I can so this got thrown in there <laughs> squishy pals uh she has a ton my younger one has a ton of these mochis i think they're called but um this one glows in the dark so we had to get these couldn't pass them up <laughs> and then i think i had shown you when my younger one got the ice cream scented slime a while back so i don't know if this is the cap to it but this is the gemstone slime by the same girl karina garcia pre-made gemstone slime and you get four you got ruby, emerald, blue topaz, and citrine. So, emerald colors. I'm sorry, the, the window's right there, so you're kind of getting a reflection. Usually I do these videos at night, but tonight I'm doing it during the day. So you kind of have a reflection coming in. Then we got, this one was my idea, actually. <laughs> it's Karina Garcia, again, pre-made slime, movie snacks themed. So you've got buttered popcorn, rainbow drops, Sour Patch Gummies and Crunch and Munch. Crunch Munch. I'm not sure. Like, obviously, the buttered popcorn is supposed to be popcorn, and Sour Patch Gummies are supposed to be Sour Patch Kids. I don't really know what the rainbow drops are supposed to be. If you guys know, let me know. Or the Crunch Munch. I was thinking like Crunch and Munch caramel corn, but I think I think my daughter said it wasn't that. She opened these. She had smelled these. So anyway, that's what they look like. Obviously, that's a popcorn. So cute. We got more of these slimes. Up, oh, one came out. Okay, this one is. These are metallic slime. You get black hole, deep sea, flashback, and lava. Ooh, and I think they. Well, at least the black has glitter in it. I can't tell if the other ones have like, like an iridescent shine to them. They're escaping. I think, yeah, the lid popped off of both sides on this one. So this one is called Mythical Slime. You get Fairy, Mermaid, Phoenix, and Unicorn. Okay. I mean, like, we had to have every slime they had in the store, but okay. They <laughs> just all fell out. All right. Oh, and then this is another graduation thing that snuck in. I just thought that would be cute for my daughter. Well, actually, I should have gotten two. Ugh. Um, but when we went to for my older daughter's birthday, she turned 14 in February, and when we went to we went to Atlantic City because we live in New Jersey, and we went to this. It's called the Sugar Factory. I think they have like various locations throughout the country, but um. So if you order at a particular me meal, they have like um, cheeseburger sliders on macaroon dyed buns. Like they look like little macaroons on the plate. And um, when you ordered that particular meal, which my girl split, you got a little rubber ducky that said Sugar Factory on it. So they kind of like both kept it and like they thought, oh, well, maybe this would be cute to add to. I know they only have one already, but like maybe they could start like collecting little rubber duckies or something. I thought it was cute. Oh gosh, they're probably going to watch this video. Um, <laughs> then, I got this for my honey because um, 
he whenever I used to set up my classroom he would always help me um, and bring this like heavy duty like double-sided foamy kind of tape and I know this isn't the same one but I figured I'd try to repay him with this <laughs> maybe it'll work just as well but he can test it out and I'll let you know if it works um, thought that was a good one. Oh, a keychain again for my older because didn't think about my younger one but also my older one's the one who's more likely to have keys just to get into the house she's not driving anywhere found this I know it's past Easter but I had been looking like crazy for beauty blenders and I think I showed you guys how I had wound up just grabbing a bag of different shaped ones from um, Walmart but they didn't have the traditional like oval shaped um, so I know this is probably made or put out for Easter but hey we got them we have two so one for each of my girls because I already have one for my company but they they don't look like carrots when you take them out of the package they just look like regular beauty mini beauty blenders but that's all they really they don't even really need them okay then I grab these because I know I'm not teaching this year but like I could always use these if I dress up <sighs> probably the only person who wears these but I like when I wear like a dress pant to put these underneath them there's a little thread on them but they're trouser socks so you get two pairs for a dollar and then my older one wanted a brow pencil I don't really know why she has pretty ample brows like me so but she wanted them okay all right, so I don't remember who chose which, but we've got some fake nails, pretty designs. It's like a pink marbleized color. Maybe I should put the blinds down actually. Does that help? And then I've got, oh, I picked these out. I don't know if I'll wear them though, but they're like a gray leopard print. And these are all by LA Colors. And then this is a pretty like aqua robin's egg blue ombre. Maybe I should go back and do that for every one of them. Well, this one you can you can really see. It's pretty distinct. And then this one. Can you see this at all? This one's very light. I feel like it's hard to pick up the marble. Uh, but they're really pretty. Let me see. I don't know if there's another one in here. Did they grab more? Yeah, they did. Oh. Okay. I don't know if we bought two Leopard by accident. Or maybe one of the girls wanted a Leopard also. I don't remember, actually. Because, um, like I said, this has been from a while back. But we have another Leopard. And then this one's like a deep purple to almost a black ombre <laughs> to me it looks like Halloween but I'm sorry you guys <laughs> let me just cover the whole thing and then this one is an ombre it's kind of like a pale pink to like a mauve Then these, I think these are pretty easy to see. Pastel, geometric, almost look like stained glass. They're really pretty. I love anything pastel. I'm trying to think if they threw anything else in. Um, well, this also, this I kind of just picked out because, so I'm obsessed with anything British and that's my dream to go to England. I mean, not even necessarily London, of course London, but like, the countryside and to go have like a tea out in the countryside in the Cotswolds and my older daughter like I said she always dreamed of becoming a baker so um, her dream is actually to go to Paris and to study in well again I don't know if it still is but she wanted to study at the Cordon Bleu so um, I saw this and I grabbed this for the two of us just just for fun I have no idea what we're gonna do with it maybe she would put it in her room I wouldn't put it in my room obviously but um, I don't know maybe I would make something with it I just realized why the lighting's off I didn't put on my light ring because it's so bright from the window but 
think we're going to leave it like that. Okay, then um, I grabbed these for my fiance because when we met up until, like, what, three years ago? Because we've been together eight years. So he, the first five years, he had this truck. Um, and I always say it was the truck that we fell in love with and fell in love in because he was trying to teach me how to drive stick shift. And we were in the church parking lot because it, it was clear and, you know, empty and it was late at night. And, um, so anytime I see anything with a truck, and it was a green pickup truck. So this is a little bit more like on the teal side, but anytime I see anything with a pickup truck, I grab it. So I thought this would be cute when we get our house. It says grow where you are planted. So I got the um, pot holders and the dish towel. I think that, yeah, it only comes with one dish towel, two pot holders and one dish towel. And then I also got the um the dish cloth the little scrubber dish cloth they have like there's scrub scrub texture on the back and it's hard to see but it's it is the same it is the same pattern there is the truck inside i actually had to open it up in the store i was like there better be a truck on this too because <laughs> i couldn't tell from the outside but they're really cute and um we like to like decorate and change things out as the seasons go and like we don't just decorate for holidays we decorate for seasons and every little thing we like to keep it eventful <laughs> you know I think that's probably because I am a kindergarten teacher and I used to change like you know the decorations in the classroom like weekly um and then we grab these for the girls and I you know there's a rose gold I can't pass it up like the little stretchy elastic um foam the phone cords because um I was buying the black black hair ties for the longest time and when I went and got my hair cut recently the hairstyle because I was like oh you know like my hair is just thinning and it was like tapering to like the tiniest bit at the bottom and she said do you use hair ties and I said well yeah everybody does and she said don't that actually rips your hair out and I said oh I thought it was just like the um rubber bands that do that and she said no even the black hair ties so the girls and I are being very careful about what we use like they have really thick hair like how I used to have when I was little so right now they don't have to worry about it but I don't want them to have to worry about it later in life when they get older and they're like what's going on like I had so then we got two of these because both of them wanted them these are like, oh gosh, what did they used to call them? I can't remember what they, were they like bra strap hair ties? Maybe I'm making that up. But um, they're pretty. They're in like chevron print. The white is chevron, the aqua is chevron. The, sil the silver or grayish silver is blank. The black is blank. And then the pink has like, ah, I guess it's like a bohemian tribal kind of print. So those were requested as well these are going to be pretty interesting they are shower scrunchies so um we usually wear a shower cap if we don't wash our hair um i skip a day my oldest can my youngest can skip maybe like two days my oldest can skip like a week because our hair is so thick oh my goodness like we don't usually skip a week but she could skip a while because it's so thick anyway so we don't do our hair every single day which isn't healthy for you anyway it's not good for your hair but these are made out of they're not bathing suit material um they're almost like the old parachute material if you guys are old enough to remember that <laughs> i am <laughs> but they come with a little hook that you can put them on to keep in the shower if you want we probably wouldn't do that but you can dry them on this and you get three of them then I wanted this hair clip. I just, I have a lot of hair clips, but I just thought it was cute. It's kind of like a different shape. The triangle, tortoise shell print. I thought that was pretty. I thought this would be a good alternative to the regular black hair ties. They're not as, um, I guess, restrictive. Like, they're just very stretchy. They're like kind of like the old-fashioned ones, I think. But I figured I would try this instead. So I'm super conscious lately about what I put in my hair. Ever since the hairstylist said that, I'm so paranoid. <laughs> All right, let's get into some summer items. I got these two silicone molds. They're typically for ice cubes, but you can use them, I think, probably for chocolate. Um, they're BPA-free. One is seashells, and the other one is a pineapple. My hair stuck to it. They're so cute, though. I love anything summery. Love it. 
I also grabbed two packs each of these. So these are supposed to be coasters and you get four of them in each and they're little pineapples. But my big idea, because like I said, I decorate for everything. I want to get twine. I have twine from the Dollar Tree already, and I want to just hot glue them along the twine and alternate the colors and make like a little summer garland. So be on the lookout for that if and when I finish it. This is a huge find. I think I bought like almost every pair they had. <laughs> Look at these, you guys. Look at them. Oh my gosh, for a dollar. A dollar. They're the foamy kinds of flip flops. And um, last year I had purchased a pair that weren't the slides with the one strap over it. They had like the two straps with the buckle. They were like the faux Birkenstock looking ones, but in the same foam. And I had gotten them in a pale pink for my older daughter, like a blush. And it was. I want to say at least twenty dollars these were a dollar they came in aqua they came in pink they came in gray and black also go grab as many as you can like I can't even hold them I have so many there's there's two more pairs on the floor so I got five that I can see but there might be some more floating around here somewhere I forgot I also got a flamingo silicone tray I love anything flamingo Love summery things for flamingos and palm trees. Love it. My dream is to live in Florida. I don't think that's going to happen, but um, I can decorate like I live there. <laughs> so I got this cup. These are travel cups, and they kind of look like um, they don't come with a straw. They almost look like a sippy cup top, kind of like the new Starbucks top where you don't need the straw. Straw, and they have like the the sippy cup top. I don't know what else to call it. It's a sippy cup top. So this one says tropical vibes palm print with pink writing and this one's just palm print with floral pink and coral floral pink and coral coral floral <laughs> say that two times three times fast um then i got and again i already have like a dish drying a dish mat dish, what do they call this dish drying mat i already have one of these and just like a plain beige that used to match my old townhouse the countertop um but like I said, I like to swap things out and decorate. And this, haha, -ha, has flamingos on it. Flamingos and palm leaves. Oh no, this is like miscellaneous. I did, I did find another beauty blender, and I grabbed that also. I forgot these with the other with the um, other items. Okay, this is. We're a very patriotic family. And it says, God bless America. And again, with the truck for my honey. Too bad it's not green, but it matches with the flag and the top. So this would be cute for like your front door or even on the back and the patio. Um, oh, I did grab another one of these for him. I forgot. Throw it. <laughs> then I got this for my car because my car is always a mess with the girls and everything multi-purpose auto cleaner i figured i'd give this a try it's armor all so for a dollar let's give it a go let's see how it does um oh did i i don't remember if this is me or the girls liquid cat suit cream eyeshadow um like i like to test out new things it's by wet and wild um I do, like I said, I do work for a company that has high-end cosmetics, and our cosmetics are all infused with anti-aging anti properties. So I don't typically use other, sometimes I will use other cosmetics, just like try it out, change it up, do some like fun colors or something, you know, experiment. Um, but for the most part, I stick with my company. Um, but this is just like a beige eyeshadows, which, which I will probably gift to my older daughter when I'm done with. My younger has been trying to wear makeup too much. Um, okay, then this, this would be good for graduation or actually it's more like summer. Yeah, it's more like just summer. Now there's football in here too. Anyway, it is a 
It says, Albums Made Easy, 100 double-sided journaling cards. To me, it's like scrapbooking for dummies. So you just take these pictures out and you just include them on a page and boom, you're done. Like you really don't have to do anything much more. But these are the ones you get. You get, um, kind of hard for me to see backwards, but like a popcorn one that says Fresh Crest Popcorn Play Ball, Game Day, All Star. This is cute if you're like a baseball or a football mom. Um, hot dogs, offense, uh, number one fan, that one's cute. <laughs> so, easy and quick scrapbooking. I hate scrapbooking. I was never into that. I am crafty, but <sighs> scrapbooking, you know, it's funny because, like, I have patience for crocheting or sewing, that kind of thing, but, like, and a lot of people think crocheting is very tedious, but I don't have any patience for scrapbooking it's like just not my thing plus I'm one of those people who are in that bad rut where I just never print anything off which has to change I have to print it off my camera roll and get actual physical pictures because you know I want to be able to have albums that we can look through I miss that I miss those days so get off of the digital and start scrapbooking the easy way a dollar why not throw it on a page it looks cute I had zero need for this but it was iridescent and I know you probably can't tell but it's got like the green and purple tint to it when you like and the little pink you know that iridescent I think I told you already I just oh, I can't pass up anything iridescent so pretty no clue if I would use it for like it's a tray no cute clue if I would use it as like actually for hosting or just like prop it up somewhere as decoration it's just so cute put little trinkets in it like who knows put a candle on it you could do anything with it and then I told you that I was gonna go back and get these and I did I got three more so my idea is that um these are the little pop-up cubes in the like it's like um like a slate gray kind of like a dark like a slate blue grayish with a gold ge geometric print I told you um I had three ready I got another three because I was thinking of those you know what like Walmart they had those like usually like black cubbies that you could put squares in them and kind of make like a drawer system be cute for organizing like a playroom or an office or even a craft room so I got the cubes now while they were there because with Dollar Tree you have to get it when you see it. Don't wait. Don't go back. I'm lucky I got these a second time because usually you go back and you do not find it. Um, if it's a good item it will get snatched up. But I got these now so that when I do get the, you know, the, the furniture that it would go in, I have these already and they all match. And my couch is like a slate blue, so I could even put it in the living room. I'm not sure if I'm going to put my couch in the living room or, like, I don't know what the story will be, but these are a huge find. Okay, so I had this um, brilliant idea that I was going to get silk flowers from the Dollar Tree and make bouquets for everyone in the wedding, but um, I don't think the flowers match well, so I might have to bring them back, but when I was getting those blush organizers, I saw a tote that was the same color blush. So I grabbed that. You can't really tell it's blush, but it is a blush pink, but then I, <laughs> I just stuck all, stuck all the flowers and the greenery into the tote and made like a little um, <laughs> floral arrangement. <gasps> just because I needed to organize them but it's something cute that you can do for Mother's Day and it wouldn't cost a whole lot of money and it would be very pretty to put out in like it almost looks like tropical which is not the look I was going for I was going for boho but um anyway it's a cute <laughs> bouquet to bring to mom that will never never die and don't forget to look for the tote in the organizational section really pretty blush pink I know it's not picking up but it's pretty okay sorry to do an extreme close-up oh my gosh these were so pretty I can't even give them to my mom um that's one of my stories but that's for another another video but um also they're glass and like I said my mom's in a nursing facility and I don't think they encourage glass items 
but look at how pretty these perfume bottles are. This is like an aqua color. You can tell. And then this is another beautiful one. These are like perfume bottles. I believe that's what they're being marketed as. It just says bottle, but I, you could leave them up, decorate some your dresser or something, give them as a nice gift for Mother's Day. This is a pretty yellow. It's not like a citrine. It's a pale yellow. And then I believe this one is pink. I had to grab all three. Oh no, this one's purple. Oh, they're not, you guys, the camera's not doing them justice. They're just so beautiful. You would never think they came from the Dollar Tree. So grab all three for Mother's Day. Really pretty Mother's Day gift. You can put them in a basket, um, you know, kind of line them up like this. And then I found this for Mother's Day too. It's so pretty. You could, you could do like a bath oil in one, maybe a lotion in another, and then like, you know, um, a perfume in another, like any, you could pour, like you could get one of those Bath and Body Works body sprays and pour them, pour one into here. Um, just such, such good ideas for Mother's Day. And I know I'm only putting this video out like the day before Mother's Day because <laughs> it's been crazy, but run, go see if you can find them. And this is another cute thing you can add with the gift. It's one of those um, bath loofahs, bath sponge, but it looks like a pretty rose on like a lily pad or like a leaf. Um, it comes with the, the rope to hang it in the shower. But look, you guys, how cute would that be? Like, oh, I don't want to break them. <laughs> but all three with a little loofah sponge, really cute Mother's Day gift. Mom will appreciate that. So, um, and then one more item I grabbed was these, what, did, what do you call them? I guess like pails, tins, um, with the twine already on them because I was actually thinking of doing something like this for my flower girls anyway. I was going to hot glue the twine on myself and I found them already done. So I thought these would be cute for them to carry and like toss flowers out of this. Um, so yeah, that was an extremely long haul. Thank you for staying to the end if you did. <laughs> um, if you notice, my skin is glowing and the number one thing I get asked about is you know about my glowing skin is what do you use and I always I mean I use a host of things for my company but this is by far the most requested it's our number one bestseller it is our hydrating cleanser it's our aqua lumiere line by Bellamy if you're interested in grabbing this again it's too late for Mother's Day but you guys try this for yourself I also have sample pamper packs if you want to give it a try they're only $5 shipped. You get a sample of all four of our products, our um, cleanser, eye cream, serum, and moisturizer, plus you get a cute little spa headband, or you could choose a bamboo washcloth. Um, but my skincare is just phenomenal, and like, I'm turning 41 in a few weeks, and this is what good skincare does. So if you're in interested in trying that, message me or comment below and let me know and I'd love to get a sample of Hamper Pack out to you. But um, that's it for this week. So we had wedding items, graduation items, summer items, Mother Day items. We did really great. It was a big haul because I had to combine everything. So thank you for sticking around and I hope you found some great bargains that you're going to run out and go get yourself. If you grab one of them, let me know. I would love to know if I helped in any way and if you see any cool things that I need to know about, please let me know also. Have a great week. Bye.